Wrigley Fields Park at Wrigley will once again host a viewing party for the pivotal matchup. Tickets for the event go on sale at 9 a.m. Tickets will be required to enter the park outside the stadium and will cost $10, with proceeds going to Cubs charities. Fans will be able to purchase a maximum of four tickets. The park at Wrigley Gates open an hour before the start of the broadcast Thursday and will close after the game. The Washington Nationals beat the Chicago Cubs in Game 4 of the NLDS, forcing a winner-take-all Game 5 Thursday night. Steven Strasburg, who wasn't even scheduled to start until Wednesday morning, struck out 12 batters and allowed zero runs. On a rainy, dreary day, Jake Arrieta had a pair of walks in the first two innings, but he stranded both runners, including with a strikeout to Michael Taylor in the second frame. Unfortunately for the Cubs, the scoreless tie didn't last for long. After Tree Turner hit a double and advanced to third on a wild pitch, Ryan Zimmerman drove him in as Russell committed an error at shortstop, giving the Nationals a 1-0 lead in the third inning. In the fifth inning, the Cubs brought John Lester into the game, and he cruised through the frame with ease. Lester lasted all the way to the top of the eighth inning, when he gave up a bloop single to Daniel Murphy with two outs. The inning snowballed from there, as Michael Taylor hit a grand slam after Carl Edwards loaded the bases to give the Nationals a 5-0 lead. The Cubs got two runners on in the eighth inning, but Bryant struck out for the fourth time in the game and Rizzo grounded out to second after a lengthy at-bat to keep the deficit at five runs. The two teams will battle one final time at Nationals Park Thursday night, with first pitch scheduled for 7.08 p.m. in Washington.